Good day and welcome to the Life and Time video inspirational series What's on Marvel. My name is Chike Weke. Today we're going to be talking about listening to naysayers and dream killers. And they are everywhere. <laughs> These are people who are going to tell you you don't have what it takes to do this project you're trying to do. You don't have what it takes to be a brilliant student. You don't have what it takes to uh, succeed as a business person. You don't have what it takes to get that job. You do not have what it takes to get that promotion. There are people who basically cannot speak faith into your life, who cannot speak prosperity into your life, who cannot speak success into your life. All they are are uh, negatives. <laughs> the things that cannot happen. They dwell on the things that can never happen in your life. They cannot speak success into your life. Stay away from such people. People like that suck away from your energy. They give you all the negative. There's nothing positive, there's nothing encouraging. They cannot encourage you to higher heights. They are ducklings that stay at the level of the ground. They basically cannot fly with you. So stay away from such people. And you know what? Your environment can dictate these naysayers for you. If, for example, you want to be an excellent student, you cannot go to hang out all the time with people who are basically flunking, flunking their classes. If you want to be so, become successful in life, you cannot hang around a crowd of people who are perpetually broke. If you want to be uh, a successful businessman, you have to go to places where successful businessmen are hanging out. You have to go to conferences where you get encouraged, where you learn the skills and the tools and all the necessary things there are to become successful. You cannot hang around places where nothing is happening. Everybody is broke. Everybody is um, poor. Everybody is a non-achiever. If you hang around such places, you can never rise up to be anything in life. You see, Somebody say that if you walk into a room and you're the smartest person in the room, then you know you're in the wrong room. So you have to always go out of your way to acquire new skills and hang out with eagles and not ducklings. People who are always in flight. People who are always soaring high to higher levels. This is where you belong and that's where you have to be if you want to be successful in life. You know, I learned a few lessons uh, growing up about uh, hanging out with people who are successful. Early enough in life, I knew that, look, I have to make friends who are richer than I am, who are smarter than I am, who are better than I am in a lot of ways, so I can learn from them because iron sharpens iron. It's only by hanging out in such circles that you become successful because you learn. If you are the teacher in every circle you belong to, then you're in the wrong circle because you're not going to learn anything new. But if you walk into a room and you have the brightest minds, the smartest minds, the people who have deep pockets, who can teach you stuff about life, then you're in the right place because you suck in from all of that to make yourself a better person. But if you stay in a place where you are the person who is the star of the moment, who is outshining everybody, then <laughs> that's about your limit. Because nobody in that room, nobody in that environment, nobody in that circumstance can teach you anything. But if you step out of your comfort zone and hang out with achievers, people who can do stuff better than you, then you are going to be learning things all the time. You know, when we started Life and Times, I empaneled a board of directors that's basically made with people who are older than me, who are richer than me, who are better educated than I am, who have all it takes to teach me stuff. And I'm glad I did that because I never felt intimidated by their presence. I kept learning and learning and sucking in from all they had to teach me and it has made me a much better person. So, my challenge to you today is don't hang around naysayers and dream killers. They're gonna kill that dream for you. Hang out in places where you can learn new stuff and become a better person. Thank you very much.